Thank you for joining us today on HXGN TV. I'm your host, Monica Miller Rogers. Today, we're talking about the next generation in LiDAR capability. And here with us to discuss that today is CEO and President of Sigma Space, Marco Sorota, and Leica Geosystems Geospatial Solutions Division, John Welter. Thank you both for being here today. Thank you. So, Marcus, let's start with you. What can you tell us about Sigma Space? Well, Sigma Space is an aerospace optical instrumentation company that has been in business for more than 15 years. Um, it has been mostly working for NASA over all those years and um, has three divisions um, or three functions, uh, aerospace instruments, uh, commercial systems and services, engineering services that we provide mostly to NASA and DOD. The um, aerospace instrument division was, is the core of the technology of the company and we have been um, creating one-of-a-kind instrumentation for NASA over those 15 years. Among those systems is single photon LiDAR, which is what, um, what is the technology that essentially Leica Geosystems identified as the potentially uh, um, profitable and, and growing technology, and which is essentially a revolutionary technology, which I'll explain more in a few minutes. But, um, the company um, is about 100 people, about uh, half of them work on development of new aerospace instrumentation and half of them are uh, dedicated to the services to NASA, engineering services to NASA and DOD. So the company is very focused on aerospace technology and especially this single photon LiDAR or SPL that you mentioned. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Right. Um, SPL, as the name indica indicates, single photon LiDAR, is a LiDAR capable of detect detecting single particles of light, single photons. For that reason, the efficiency of the system is much higher than any other instrumentation that has been developed to date. So, uh, thanks to that uh, capability, we can divide the laser beam into multiple beams. In fact, we use 100 beams to, to range to the terrain or uh, water and in some cases we have made also a lot of atmospheric instruments using the same technology, photon counting. So um, with single photon LiDAR we can uh, right now um, provide um, ranging measurements up to six million times per second which is way beyond the capabilities of any commercial instrument. So um, it is a very very powerful technology that we expect to exploit in many many ways. This is certainly an impressive technology as well. And now, actually, Hexagon has recently acquired Sigma Space and it's going to be working within Leica Geosystems. John, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, so the, the real reason to acquire um, Sigma was to um, expand our imagery program. So as Marcos indicated, they have a very, very efficient LiDAR system. It's about six times as efficient as anything on the market right now. So this allowed us to, to actually consider taking our imagery programming and adding an elevation component to it. You know, we really needed that efficiency to make this mega project feasible. You know, we're talking about flying the entire United States in two to three years. These kind of programs haven't been done before. So it's really our goals in the content world with very, very good technology, very efficient technology to get us there. So very, very interesting project. And what benefits do you see this bringing to current and future Sigma Space and like a Geosystems customers? Marcus, let's start with you on that question. Well, uh, definitely um, there is a myriad of customers um, that uh, will benefit from the technology infusion of a company like Leica. Um, Sigma is a relatively small company. Uh, in spite of having developed a lot of very good instrumentation. And um, the technology and depth of Leica Geosystems uh, will bring capabilities to our customers that we didn't have previously. And um, also um, the expansion of the line of uh, instruments uh, will benefit um, government customers of Sigma with um, instrumentation for defense and other applications. And John, you talked about elevation being a new piece of this for Leica Geosystems. Yeah, so from our customer's perspective, yeah, the, the, the big one there is that we get a next generation technology. So, you know, over the years we've sold many, many airborne LiDAR instruments. Uh, we've got over 200 in the market right now. 
15 years in the market with this, with this type of instrument. So with Sigma, we get some very advanced technology and then we can use our expertise in turning that into a commercial instrument that we can support in the market and uh, get wider spread adoption for that technology. So it's a very interesting fit. Absolutely, and gentlemen, what is your combined vision for LiDAR and where do you see this taking the industry in the future? And John, let's start with you on that. So I used to be a customer and uh, I remember very fondly serial number three of our hexagon first generation LiDAR sensor. And that instrument could measure 15,000 uh, measurements a second. And uh, that technology now, the current version that we've just announced at the show, the ALS-80 UP, that's one million measurements per second. But what's interesting with what Marcos mentioned is with Sigma, we're starting at six million. So we're just at the beginning of this roadmap and we're already at six times the efficiency. So if we look at the ALS instrument, in 15 years we gain 60 times. You know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if in five, 10 years from now with Sigma we're at a billion points. And that's what it's all about is, is bringing up the point density and bringing down the cost per point. So very, very interesting from this perspective. Very excited about it. Don't know what we're gonna do with all the data, but we'll figure that one out when it comes. Okay, and Marcus, what do you see? Well, there is, um, there is a complete other field that, NASA's, uh, that uh, Sigma serves, which is the scientific missions of NASA. And uh, one of the applications of um, these sliders is um, to map um, asteroids, planets, um, to help instruments land on those planets, but people are talking about, or spacecraft land on those planets. The people are talking about going to Mars by 2025, 2030. There is no good accurate map of those uh, surfaces. So just going a little bit long in our vision, we can envision these systems uh, being mounted in um, any landing spacecraft or also on mapping uh, spacecraft around those bodies. We are working actually in our Europa project right now. Europa is one of the satellites of Jupiter. Uh, so um, the depth and reach of um, Laika and Sigma would uh, enable us to provide those instruments with a much more complete uh, infrastructure. So it's, it's a really, uh, um, there is the commercial uh, aspects uh, for earth mapping and there are scientific applications. So it is um, a technology that essentially is revolutionizing the application of LiDAR in, in, in all um, the solar system. This has been fascinating and Mars, wow. So this is definitely an exciting time in the industry and we look forward to seeing where this goes. John, Marcos, thank you so much for being here today and sharing your insights with us. For more information on Sigma Space, visit sigmaspace.com. For more information on Leica Geosystems, visit leica-geosystems.com. And to watch more episodes here on HXGNTV, please visit us at hxgntv.com. Thank you so much for watching.